What's up mga jammers and welcome to another jam session with me, your sweet jammer. Today we're in Batangas because it's New Year's Eve. At nakikita nyo naman sa background, umuulan ngayon. At dapat maganda ang view dito kasi dapat kita ang taal dyan. Pero dahil umuulan talaga, medyo foggy, nagtatago si Taal Volcano. May medyo shy type siya ngayon guys. Well anyways, here are 35 facts about me. Number one, my real name is Benjamin but nobody calls me Benjamin. Not even my parents call me Benjamin. Because you don't have the right to call me Benjamin. You can call me Jam, okay? Jam lang. J-A-M. Diba shorter? Kung kasi yung mas komplikado ang buhay niya. Number three, if you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know that I'm adopted. Number three, I used to be so thin. Like high school, second year high school, I was so thin. Why? Because number four, I used to be a volleyball varsity player. Number five, I used to be a dancer. Nasa dancer po ko dati nung high school. Sobra active ko. Tapos bigla na wala. Tapos ayun na, wala. Poof! It became to offer and share. Number six, I love Japanese food. Number seven, I love wasabi. I can eat wasabi alone. I swear, like in every sauce, I can also add wasabi. Kaya ano sauce yan? Gusto ko wasabi. Number eight, I'm an achiever. If there's something I want to happen in my life, I will make sure it happens. I'll do everything just for it to happen. Talaga. Number nine, I cannot sleep without the combination of aircon and electric fan. Hindi ko lang bakit kaya electric para katapat po sa buka ko. Swear. Hindi ako makatulog kung wala yun. Number 10, I cannot sleep with the lights on. Kailangan nakapatay lahat. Like, super black talaga. So, dapat wala akong makamuta. Number 11, I cannot sleep without hugging a pillow. I don't know. Kasi ko laging may kaya ka. <laughs> Number 12, I love challenging people. Hindi ako basta-basta buo. I don't know if it's a good thing, pero ako yung tao hindi agad-agad nag-agree. Ang dami kong tinanong at ang dami kong challenge bago ko umuha. Number 13, I have worked in the States for a year. I used to do my internship there for a year, six months in Michigan as a wine steward and six months in Aspen as an in-room dining server. Ang sayo nun, Wes. Ang dami-dami tips at ang dami-dami pera doon. Number 14, I am an HRIM graduate of De La Salle Culture St. Benilde, majoring in hospitality management. Yes! Yun talaga ako. Dun talaga ako nag-aaral. Number 15, I don't like hot food. Not at all. Ayoko na mainit. Napapasok ako. Pinapalamig ko talaga pag mainit. Pinapalamig ko talaga siya. Weird ko ba? Number 16, I eat spicy food. I don't super love spicy food, but I eat spicy food. Number 17 is I know how to make a digital clock with alarm and AM, FM radio because I used to be majoring in electronics when I was in Don Bosco during high school and I was able to make some of those already. Like, oh my gosh, you have no idea ang say say niya. Number 18, I don't have any sense of direction in terms of giving ano ha, yung mga directions sa road. Pag nasa car talaga ako kay Fred, the drive Fred ko, hindi ko talaga, nakalimutan ko talaga siya, lagi kami nawawala, kaya kailangan ko talaga si Waze. Diba? Kasi nga, so nga lang si Waze, hindi ba laging accurate kung saan sa pinapaikot? Parang siya lang. Number 19, I love writing everything that I have in mind. Like, super notebook talaga. Kaya notebook ko, hindi pwede maliit. Kailangan niya malaki talaga. Sulat ko lahat na nasa isip ko. Lahat ng ideas ko, lahat ng mga notes. I love taking notes. I super love it. Kasi I feel like, mas efficient siya pag nagla-notes ako ngayon. At saka lahat na naiisip ko. Kasi minsan nakakalimutan ko agad. Sulat-sulat ko siya lahat doon. Kaya lagi akong may notebook na dala sa bag ko. Number 20, I'm a very stubborn person. Hindi ako basta-basta sumusunod. Mahirap ang pasunurin, di ba? And bago ko sumunod, nakailang sabi ka na. Ganun ako. Ewan ko talaga. Pasaway talaga ako. Pinanganak akong pasaway. <laughs> Number 21, I always think out loud. Alam na friends ko to. Lahat ng friends ko alam to. Ang dami ko yung iisip. Nalululo ko. Nababaliw na lang sa ladders. Tapos ko gusto mo ganito. Gusto mo ganito. Nandun ako. Gusto ko naman ganito. Gusto ko salita ko mag-isa. Kasi I love thinking out loud. As in, swear. Sabi nga ng friends ko, Diyab, ang dami mong gusto. Isa lang sa'yo gusto ko. <laughs> Number 22, I love water. Kasi nakaubos ko ng ganun-ganun na tubig sa isang araw. I super love water more than juice, more than anything. Water talaga forever. Number 23, I used to be a waiter. Tignan itong picture na to. Totoo yan, nag-waiter ako before sa Yabu. And sa hotel, sa pinanggaling ako before sa state. So yes, waiter ako dati. At may gagawin akong isa pang vlog about being a waiter eventually. So para magkaroon kayo ng view kung anong buhay ng isang waiter. Okay? Number 23, for I tend to be impatient at times. As in, so, alam na friends ko yan. Ayoko naghihintay na matagal. 
konting nagtitrigger lang sa akin na irita na ako basta anything na inconvenient mabilis ako irita I swear kaya nga minsan kinokontrol ko yan ang sarili ko eh. number 25 I would love to be a PBB housemate in the future kung paparin man hindi ko naman sinasabing makakapasok ako pero alam ko naman sobrang hirap din nun pero alam ko yun kung paparalit lang gusto ko talaga maging PBB housemate at mabit si kuya Number 26, I have good mental math. Guys, dati, magkukumon ako. Ano yung kumon? Yung, yung may mga may memorize ka mga multiplication table. Tapos yung reset mo mabilisan. Mga ganon. Lahat ng mga sila siguro may time limit. Magkumon ako dati kaya magaling ako sa mental math. Pero mga basics lang. Hindi ba yung mga baka kala mo nag-algebra na sa utak. Hindi ko kaya yun best. At hindi ko alam ba't hanggang ngayon, 27 years old na ako, never ko encounter ang algebra sa kahit anong aspeto ng trabaho ko. Hindi ko alam may algebra dati, pinapahirapan ba tayo? Number 27, nahihirapan ako matulog sa ibang bahay. I swear, mga ilang days bago ako makatulog na may ibang, hindi ako sanay. Dapat kamat o kaya dapat kwarto ko lagi. Doon ako nakatulog agad. Pero pag iba, grabe, hirap na hirap ako makatulog. Number 28, I tend to forget names. Grabe, ako yung pagmatagal mong dinakasama. Nakakalimut ako name mo. Kaya don't be offended kung nakakalimut ako name mo. Or tinanong ko sa'yo random name mo. Kahit nagkaroon na tayo mga conversation. It's just that. Makakalimutin talaga ako, guys. Talaga may one time na sa restaurant. Ako tagal lahat nag-usap. Hindi ko pala ang name niya. So yung friend ko, sabi nyo, John, pakilala mo naman ako, John. Dahil nga talaga, pero ba ko talaga name niya? Nakakahiya, guys. So, don't be offended na. May ganun talaga ako kung gano'n. Nakakalimut ka names, but I know your face. I remember everything about you, but your name. I tend to forget. Read ko ba? O ako lang ba yun? Ikaw din. I have six favorite Pinoy YouTubers. 29 is Ave Lovin for Travel Vlog. She's a friend of mine. 30 is Benedict Hua for inspirational and speak life videos. 31 is Direct Barry Lagroni for all the cinematics and storytelling. Intense guys, ang daling. 32 is Nate Puntalan for his spiritual videos. Talag naka-equip siya, naka-inspire talaga siya, naka-encourage siya spiritually as well. 33 is Jerry Carcio for Real Talk Vlogs. So where you have to check his channel, grab very real talk talaga, no filter. And 34 is about rap for his makeup and grooming. Talaga, yun ang mga pinapanood ko. These days, nakaka-addict sila panoorin at nakaka-inspire gumawa ng sarili kong vlog also. And lastly, number 35, I'm a believer. I'm a believer of our source, God, who died for us for all our sins. For us to be free from guilt and shame. I believe I'm here right now because of Him. And I believe that I have a purpose why I'm here, why I'm vlogging. I believe that there's a message that He wants to send to you guys. And that's why I'm here. And I realized that after a long, 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 long time of vlogging, I never introduced myself to you, sorry. That's why I came up with this vlog. And now that you know me, my promise for you guys is not just to share food reviews to you guys, but also speak life to everyone. I think that's the best part of vlogging, is for you to be able to speak life to a person. It's for you to be able to touch a person's heart to your videos. And I've planned so many things for 2019, like I've already planned for the first quarter. January, February, and March. It's going to be a very, very good start. And I'll make sure it's going to be a very, very good end as well. I'm going to fill you guys with so many information, so many contents that will add value in your life. I promise that. I promise that. That's why I'm here. And God spoke to me to use this platform for me to be able to speak life to you guys. And this is what I'm going to do starting today. So if you guys are into restaurant reviews and vlogs that will speak life to you, please do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to engage. And if you're not part yet of the Kajamas family, I'd be happy to actually add you in my group. Our family is slowly growing and I'm very excited to see it grow in quality, not just in quantity. And to my friends who are interested in my tops, please lead them to this channel and I'll be happy to actually meet you guys eventually in person. So if you guys want to join the Kajama family, just comment down below there. Okay? Just hit the notification bell so you can see all the uploads ko this coming year. Later, 12 midnight, New Year's Day, I'll be uploading my final video for 2018 which is all about me being grateful to you guys. And thank you so much for supporting me all throughout 2018. It's my first year of this. We may be small right now, but I believe we'll slowly grow little by little eventually. And I believe that God will make it happen talaga. And 
I wouldn't reach this far without you guys. So watch out for that vlog. See pag ko upload to. Anyways, that's it for me for today. And I'm very excited for 2019. There's so much content that I prepared for you guys. And hope you guys will like it as well. And hope you guys will find it helpful also. So thank you for hearing me. And I'll see you on the next jamming session. Only at Jazz Vlogs. Happy New Year!